for number 10. And uh, we have a special guest today. Hi Eric. there. Eric, if, uh, you're the head of the GTA Brews Club? Uh, are you yeah, the I'm, president? I'm are you the, the founder? Uh, I guess I'm all of those things right now. Okay. <laughs> Someday I'd like to not be president and just go there and enjoy the have, club. Have, have a couple of beers. Yeah, and, and yeah. not be running around, but for now I'm the president. <laughs> there was a meeting last night and you didn't look like you were enjoying yourself setting everything up and, and no, running. No, we had a lot of technical difficulties, but we we podcast or brew, brewcasted in the, the biggest homebrew celebrity that there is, the brewlosopher, so yes. yeah, that went really well. That was a good talk. It was a good talk. So today, what are we brewing? I guess we're brewing my robust porter recipe. Uh, it's a beer I brewed for the wedding because my wife really loves dark beers. So uh, it's mostly a little bit of black patent, some chocolate, Maris Otter to give kind of a, a base little, a base amount of maltiness. And what else do we have in there? I found uh, a malt at, when I went to a homebrew conference a couple years ago that they were just giving it little samples called DRC. And it's just kind of really dark fruity. And I just was munching on it. And I was like, well, I just want to put this in here. And I think it made it better. So I just started using it. Yeah, it was fairly easy to find at the homebrew shop here in Toronto. Yeah. But information about the DRC is still a little bit... Uh, I think it's only about two or three years old. So okay. th you're not going to find that 10 years of history like oh, you find yeah. on homebrew talk. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to start out with uh, a little bit of water chemistry. Which, oddly enough, in our discussion last night was one of those things that he talked about being very yeah. important, but people yeah, san don't Sanitation do, so. and then water chemistry. Yeah, so. so... And that's something I'm really big into. I like to... Uh, I like to play with the numbers, so <laughs> <laughs> spreadsheets. So, do you want me to dump it in? Yeah. Would you like to dump it in? Sure. So we've got. So, this so yeah. Thing. So this is calcium chloride. I think we have 1.1 grams. So uh, it should just give enough calcium to put the ppm over 50, which is what you need for a proper yeast flocculation. Okay. This is pretty simple addition. So then we're also going to put in 2.7 milliliters of lactic acid. It's a brand new bottle, so it overflows as soon as you put your thing in. There we go. Look at you and your pipetting device. So 2.7. So then just stir that in as well. And you might have lost some temperature here, so you might want to let it settle. Yeah, we're down to 153, so I can I can so, turn up the power on the element a little bit. And uh, now let's let it sit over the sink so it don't melt your counters. All right, so stop stirring, put the lid so back on. Put the lid back on and let that come up to temperature before we mash in. Yep. There we go. Temperature has been reached. Ready to mash in? Sure. Are you going to stir, Jules? Sure. Am I dumping? Yeah, dump. Go ahead. Sure. So we've got Maris Otter, chocolate malt, crystal malt, black patent, and DRC. Okay, so we're 10 minutes into the brew, or, yeah, 10, 10 minutes, minutes into, into, the, the, mash, mash, into the mash, sorry, and, uh, so we're going to test the mash pH, we want to make sure that mash pH is in the proper range, so that, uh, basically we're trying to, we're trying to control the final beer pH, so we're going to take a little bit of the recirculation beer, or wort, and we'll put it into a nice bath. And, and our, our optimum pH will be? Uh, I think we can do anywhere between 5.2 to 5.3 would be ideal for this beer. If we're around 5.35, that's still okay. So the ice bath will cool this down nice and quick. So it's at 89. Once it's below 80, I usually think that's okay to take a measurement. So it'll be another couple seconds. And if all goes well, we're within range, but we added that water earlier, so we might not be anymore. Oh, looks like we're going to be okay. So we're at 5.2 something, and let's let it stabilize to 5.23 maybe. See if it changes. So I think we're probably 5.23, which is great. So we don't need to add any more acid. We'll add a little bit with our sparge water though. So we're, we're right in the range? Yep, we're, we're pretty much perfect. Ooh. Cool. So that, we might have actually added too much acid originally because that adding more water will raise the pH. So we've got another uh, 50 minutes. Want to add this back? Of mash. Oop. Sure. Why not? Let's do a couple of taste tests. 